Hey there, everybody. I'm Mr. Terry. I'm a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Acts video. Now, a channel came across my recommendations when I looked at the videos. Apparently, I've been sleeping on a very popular history skit comedy channel. At least that's what I've derived from looking at the thumbnails and the video titles. Now, this channel is called Squire. So I looked into their playlist and I wanted to find something popular and something to be interesting to me. And this one popped up. Every soldier in 1918. All right, the original video link is going to be down below. Make sure you're supporting that. Check that out. Make sure to like and subscribe to their channel. All right, let's get started. All right, 1918. So we're end of World War One. All right, the first frame says France 1059, uh, November 11th, 1918, one uh, minute before armistice. That's true. 11, 11, 11, the war armistice, the firing of guns and the fighting stopped. 11th month, 11th day, and yes, 11th hour. I like it when that happens so we can, you know, remember history better. All right, let's see what we got. One more, one minute before. So just maybe wait out the clock, run out the clock, you know? Oh no. Oh no, it's only a minute left, dude, just stop. Just stop. Oh gosh, Max and machine gun. <laughs> like you could just hold it like that. Hey, that was the big game changer in World War One. I, I remember. Most, I think the biggest reason why it was so deadly. Grenades and stuff. By the way, props for like they created like trenches and they got like uniforms and all this stuff. Like this is really good. This is really impressive just from a like staging effect. If they would use those um instead of bayonets in this time. Chats, don't you the war's over in 30 seconds? Speed. It's yeah. nearly eleven o'clock. Okay, do we yeah, come stop. on, come on, get him! Grab him, stab him! You still have a few seconds left. Down there. Grab it, smash his head in! That's the spirit! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, no! Sorry, chaps. I'm afraid we've run out of time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Hey, by the way, you see that gas alert thing? So, yeah, there were multiple factors that you would definitely want to be on high alert on for gas. Um, one is actually weather. Right. If winds in a specific direction and you have a pretty good idea of if they ha are in range of that, that's definitely going to put you in high alert. So no matter where, you know, you are going to be in that, you want to be close to your gas mask. Anyway, OK, so the time's over. Did they stop fighting? Just as it was getting interesting. Ah, well, there will be another war coming along soon for me to get stuck into. Yeah. Wait 20 years. Right. Don't be taking that then. <sighs> what? Yeah, you lose. Unlucky. Ah, uh, 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 you're about to lose your teeth. Firstly, I'm English, so, uh, so, yeah. uh so secondly, true. you lost the war, so hand over your rifle, mate, come on. Best looking ah, teeth in Britain. Lose. It's an armistice, it's, it's more like a ceasefire. That's what it is. You didn't lose, yeah, and uh, remind me, uh, what was it you had for lunch today? A uh, bit of mouldy bread. And how may I... I mean, that's pretty good. Hey, some mouldy bread at that time in the war, you'll take that. Yeah, best teeth in Britain right there, right? Ask did that bit of bread finally make its way to the front line because I'm guessing it wasn't by truck. Horse. A horse which your family would have loved to have eaten. Oh gosh. I imagine. No, no they wouldn't. There's no meat on our horses anymore. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. I suppose you're right. We are still to maintain the, this level of attrition. The harm to horses Whereas in the we're war. We're fine with it. Apparently. Ah, but we've done very well. We got you good at the song. Good little actor. You walked straight into that one. Yes. I, 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 I'm thinking this is, is this Squire? Is it named after this guy? I've seen him. I saw him in the thumbnails when I was searching for a video to watch. I like it. He's got a lot of character to him. Great, great, uh, great character, like as, as a character. Problem, actually. Yeah, we uh, might have made it through if we'd run. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you've, uh, yes, you've done awfully well. Yeah, yeah well done you. Ah, uh ah, -uh, as has the British Empire. I'll hold my hand up. Both of them, please. I thought this war would have hailed its demise and ruined it economically. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure we've got enough resources and cohesion to keep the empire together. Well, unless there's another world war. <laughs> <laughs> no, nine, nine, nine. I doubt we have the appetite for that. But well, the thing is, hold on to the empire. Germany's not going to have to worry about that because their royal family, the whole royal government's going to be booted out. Um, and then they take all, then the allies take all their colonies away. League of Nations 
takes them over control of them, meaning the Allies control the colonies. Britain's going to hold on to their colonies. They're not going to give up theirs. They're going to make Germany give up theirs, but Britain's not going to give up theirs. Same with France, etc. cetera. Um, but they will start losing them after World War II, and they definitely can not hold them anymore. Red, on the other hand... Sorry, 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 sorry. So these guys again. Uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit embarrassing. Uh, um, boy. Uh, I'm afraid my watch is still set to London time, so oh. it means uh, I, I'm an hour behind. Behind. So oh, they could still fight. Actually, we're still on active front line. So. Come on, come on, get. They're gonna fight more. That's the spirit. Stick him. But they like kind of became friends now. Uh, oh, right in the. Uh, you know what? No, 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 okay. No, hang on, hang, hang on. It looked like it was right in his. You know. Watch is playing up. Blast of German I. Had it off as a souvenir. Must have been fiddling with a mechanism or something. Atkins, what time do you make it? 11.04, sir. Good, good, good. What do you Carry say? on. Ah, Atkins, did you say 11.04? I'm missing my favourite wireless show. Turn the damn crystal set on. Come on, come on. Now back to the radio edition of The Titanic. Whoa, I'd give that a one. Oh, new scene. Don't be striking a match. It could be trouble. Yeah, speaking of which, have you seen any icebergs? Another great looking actor. The watchman, Captain. How's it looking up there, Jimmy? Everything ship shape? Oh, yes. All my ships. Oh, it's the ad. <laughs> I was like, this is really random that they put in there. Now, I don't know if these codes are going to be good anymore because it's like uh, over a year old. But let me get to the code if you guys want to check out their stuff. But he's not going to be compensated for it anymore. But I will put it up regardless to help the sponsor, I guess. We want to help sponsors that will sponsor. Um, you should definitely go and download more warships videos. for free from the link in the description. More warships. Use our promo code to get three days of premium. No works anymore. <laughs> Gosh, really this is an older video. So. <laughs> Too soon. Look, I said I'm sorry, okay? Look, I mean, we would have murdered for a scratch like that in the song. That is a ticket home. Right, come on, anyway. How they were already going to go home, though. Uh, not until you agree. Here's the thing, though. A wound like that, easily, in those days, could have meant you're going to die eventually. Right? Most people died of, like, the wounds, you know, rather than, like, instant death because um, you would get infections, that kind of thing. Um, Health care is improving as far as, like, antibiotics and stuff like that, but it's still not going to be there at the very, you know, very well, depending on how the severity of that could be an amputee, too. Germany didn't lose militarily. I mean, sure, whatever helps you sleep at night. I know I sure can't. But <laughs> it's just like my friend in the 6th Bavarian Reserve says. We were stabbed in the back. All right, careful. Don't go. Okay, okay. They're getting into the German apologetics of it, of all that stuff. He said, like, we weren't defeated militarily. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's how it was. The war had turned, right? Yes, the Russians had come out of the war the previous year. So Germany's now putting everything in the West. And by the way, props to Germany in World War One for being able to hold a two front war and beat the Russians while trying to fend off the British and the French at the same time. That's amazing. Uh, by the way, this reminds me to go check out the tier list video I was reacting and kind of reacting to and also giving feedback and kind of creating my own for World War One performance. Um, I'll link that with this um, that I did recently. And you can see kind of my thoughts about with that. So, but anyway, yeah, I mean, but they did have to sign that armistice when they were basically pushed back to the German border. I mean, militarily, they couldn't hold it any longer. And it's just like, that's just how it was. Again, they fought multiple nations and, you know, don't have to be uh, like feel bad about like their performance. I mean, they were Germany did incredible in World War One over the top. Oh, no. Oh no. Ah, I find myself wanting a beer all of a sudden. Now I can't wait to get back to Munich and find myself some rewarding employment and stable income outside the army. Nope. Well, I'm certain your nope. surrender will be negotiated on Didn't fair happen. terms. I mean, the French aren't the sort to hold a grudge, are they? Their no. economy was trashed. No, Germany's world standing and economy will no doubt remain in good order, secured by some kind of fair treaty. So, <laughs> all of that sounds perfectly plausible. Now, come on, hand it over. I know you all understand the irony of every statement happening there. 
uh, those poor soldiers went back to nothing. There was no economy. There's no job for them. A lot of them did actually remain in the military, even though Treaty of Versailles completely stripped away Germany's military. Okay, brought their army down to about 100,000. No air force, no tanks, taking away their ships. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're not going to have much of a career uh, anymore. You could like indirectly work for them, like Mr. Mustache Command did, um, and try to spy on the German Workers' Party and then join them. You know those guys. But yeah, um, their depression starts immediately. And for the rest of the world, it's going to be a few years later when we get the Great Depression. But Germany, starting right away. Hang on. Again, again, great props and setup. Yeah, this is I used all of my ammunition, like everyone else in the 22nd Infantry. <laughs> is it called that because there's only 22 of you left? Oh, oh, oh. no, I wish. Uh, there so were only right five here. of us, but we were undefeated in the field. Yeah, but you lost in the trenches loads of times. No, no, it was us who died in the fields. Okay, fantastic. Time to go home. And I promise we won't follow any more madmen into pointless wars. <laughs> oh, hey, Adi. Hello. What's happened to you? Blinded by gas. Funny, we haven't used any. Oh, bet you're furious. Anyway, see you when we get home. He's referring to Mustache Man. I gotta start using that other terms because, boy, YouTube ha has been demonetizing so much stuff I've been covering lately because you mention any specific things the, the the it's getting cut by the way content creators right now are really struggling with this support all these content creators because we're having a really tough time right now covering important historical topics without getting limited or no ads on our videos because of the you know that kind of content but that's exactly what happened. so towards the end of the war mr mustache man um was gassed severe gas attack and he was hospitalized at the time the war was over and it was really bad he was blinded for a long time and there's an interesting theory i was reading um i don't I forget what it comes out of exactly but basically that gas also created traumatic brain injuries. It could it could do that. It could screw up your brain. And if you know anything about TBI victims, um, they can become very impulsive. They become very defensive. They can actually become violent. And some people say that may have twisted Mr. Mustache Man. Add to that the ending of the war and all the trauma that came with that, that that may have messed with him because one thing we know for sure about Mr. Mustache Man is that he was a very different person coming out of the war than he was in the going into the war. That was Corporal Hitler. Nice oh, guy. Bit him. of a temper. So, that's by the way, just the last note about that. I want to keep the video. Uh, Mr. Mustache Man had a very dangerous job in World War One. He was a trench runner. He was on the front lines. One of the most deadly uh, jobs that you can honestly have in the war. Right. Almost died multiple times. You may know about the 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 time when they were retreating and that, you know, uh, British private. I forgot his name, Tanny or whatever, supposedly could have killed him during the retreat. And uh, Hitler mustache man ended up recognizing him from a photo. And that's how he ended up finding out who he was uh, later after the war. But uh, could have died. That would have changed a lot of history, wouldn't it? Great war then. Great. Did we fight in the same battle? Well, not for you, obviously, no. No, I guess you could call it the massive one you lost. Bah, agree to disagree. We can agree that when you, we oh, attacked all those times with all those tanks we invented, all of you ran away you did like tanks. girls. Well, so first to bring tanks into the hey, war. Hey, now, we had tanks as well. Yeah, they brought Is them later. that what those were? We thought they were mobile incinerators. Well, I guess we were both right. That's the thing is, the British tanks sucked. You see those early tanks? I mean, the, the whole purpose of tanks, though, was just to get through no man's land. They they couldn't be incorporated in offensive maneuvers and stuff like that. But, yeah, let's not get too proud about World War One tanks, all right, guys? And I reckon with a teeny weeny bit more practice, we'll get really good at using them. Yeah, True. I'm sure oh, Britain yeah. will also keep developing World War II is going to be very different. Keep producing state-of-the-art tanks. Well, at yeah. least we won the football match back in 14. Only on penalties, and I'm sure we'll get better at those two in the future. I assume they're talking about the the um, the Christmas truce, and they had the the the, the football match uh, in the um, in the in the no man's land. I had forgotten if they had confirmed or whatever, like who won the match. Apparently, is that what it was? The Germans won on, on penalties with that. Too bad that couldn't have become a tradition later, you know, in the wars. But obviously it, it showed how much the mentality of the war changed because everybody thought that, you know, by Christmas, you know, the war would be over. So attitudes were very different. And they thought that, you know, it would be over soon. But boy, 
It's gonna be a lot more Christmas. Hey, hey, do you fancy a quick game now, huh? I think my leg's feeling a little better. No, 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 I've got trench foot. Yeah, it's nasty. Best we just shake hands and call it a day. There we go. Right. By the way, that guy should be losing his leg. I'll in. Goodbye. Cheers, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, they both go down in the end in a unfortunate turn of events. Okay. Final thoughts. All right, that was fantastic. That was great. Again, I was telling you, I love the the scene. They got it all set up and staged everything. Really cool. That was awesome. A lot of good, obviously, Easter eggs into later events in history. That was fantastic. I like in this guy. Again, I just like he's, he's got so much character to him. So I'm interested to see what else. Um, the last one that that uh, uh, came on here. Let me pull it back on the screen. You can't see me. I see every German officer in 1945. Is this one I should be watching? Because that sounds that sounds interesting too. All right. Anyway, you guys, this original video again. Please support that. I definitely would be interested in watching some more. If you guys want to watch this, I'll know if you want me to keep covering them by a couple things. Obviously, if you're watching this video, share it with your friends. Like it. Okay, likes are a huge thing. It really tells me that people actually like the stuff and it gets promoted and knows what I need to cover because there's so many things I can cover, right? So again, but sub to the original channel and all that. All right, with that, y'all, we'll see you next time. Bye.